for the world is hollow, and I have touched the sky. For the world is hollow, and I have touched the sky is the eighth episode of the third season of the American science fiction television series Star Trek. Written by Rick Vollerts and directed by Tony Leader. It was first broadcast on November 8, 1968. In the episode, the crew of the Enterprise rush to stop an asteroid from colliding with a Federation world, but discover the asteroid is actually an inhabited ship. Plot The Federation starship Enterprise encounters a ship disguised as a large asteroid, which is on a collision course with planet Darren V. Captain Kirk and First Officer Spock beam to the ship's interior, along with Dr. McCoy, who is suffering from a fatal disease called Thanopolisithemia. They are attacked and subdued by a group of humanoids, whose high priestess, Natura, welcomes them to the world of Yanada and orders them to be taken before the Oracle. This Oracle demonstrates its power by administering a powerful electric shock. As they recover, an old man approaches them and tells them that he has climbed the mountains of his world and discovered that the world is hollow and I have touched the sky. He then collapses and dies, and his temple glows red. Natira enters and expresses regret at the man's foolishness. She then gives the three permission to explore Yanada, but McCoy elects to stay with Natira. Spock notes that Yanada's writing system resembles that of the Fabrini, a race that was destroyed by a supernova 10,000 years ago. The people of Yanada are evidently their descendants, but are unaware of the nature of their world. McCoy and Natira have fallen in love, and Natira asks the Oracle for permission to marry McCoy, which the Oracle grants on condition that McCoy accept an instrument of obedience. Kirk and Spock are then discovered, having secretly entered the Oracle room. Natura says she must execute them for their transgression, but McCoy persuades her to relent. As Kirk and Spock prepare to return to the Enterprise, McCoy declares his intention to stay behind with Natura. McCoy marries Natura, and an instrument of obedience is implanted in his temple. Natura shows him their sacred text, the Book of the People. McCoy suspects it holds the key to setting Yanada back on course and calls the Enterprise to share this information, which causes his obedience device to be activated. Kirk and Spock transport back to Yanada, and Spock removes the device from McCoy, while Kirk tries to explain the truth to Natura. When Natura's own device is activated, McCoy removes it while Kirk and Spock again deal with the Oracle. Spock learns from the book how to enter the control room behind the Oracle's altar, where they discover the ship's navigational controls and correct Yanada's course. Spock also discovers the Fabrini archives, which contain a cure for McCoy's condition. McCoy returns to the Enterprise where he is successfully treated, hoping to see Natira again when Yanada arrives at its new homeworld in about a year. Reception Legacy Captive Universe 1969 novel by Harry Harrison in which a centuries-long voyage in an asteroid ship is being undertaken with the population largely ignorant of their status, a decision made by the mission planners in the belief that the crew's resolve could not have endured otherwise. Macro Life, a 1979 novel by George Zabrowski, which explores the notion of humanity exploiting hollowed-out asteroids as spacecraft for survival and colonization. Orphans of the Sky, a 1941 novel by Robert A. Hainlein, in which a generation ship is populated by descendants of an original crew similarly degenerated into pre-technological savagery and ignorant of the spacecraft's original purpose. The Star Lost, a Canadian sci-fi series about a sleeper ship. Season 1, Episode 4 of the Orville 2017, the crew discover an inhabited ship in which the inhabitants do not realize they are on board. Home video release. For the World is Hollow, and I Have Touched the Sky was released in 1988 on Laserdisc in the United States. It was published by Paramount Home Video and was released as pair with the Tholian Web. Star Trek titles were popular on the growing home video market. In the 1980s, the Star Trek Roman II film had helped establish the home video market. 
This episode was released in Japan on December 21, 1993, as part of the complete Season 3 laser disc set, Star Trek Original Series Log. A trailer for this and the other episodes was also included on an additional disc, and the episode had English and Japanese audio tracks. The cover script was Sutu Toritsuku TV Sadishizung for the set.